Man, I am not a dating coach. I am not a life coach or none of that. I'm a regular guy. I just tell y'all how it is. <clears throat> That's it. This is just my opinions. And I got a lot of a lot of opinions on relationships. A lot. Like relationships shouldn't even exist. It shouldn't be no relationships. And I said that before. Shouldn't be no relationships. Y'all wasting your time. Women shouldn't be wasting their time with these dudes who ain't marriage minded, who ain't who ain't got nothing to offer. And women waste their time with these dudes. They waste their time with these men. They have children with these men. These men don't give them nothing but a hope, a wish, and a dream. And in doing so, these women start to paint a picture of men that's not true. Not necessarily true. Um, these women end up being single. These women, these single women end up raising our single, these single women end up raising our boys in a single mom home. And that's the problem. Now let me explain why it's the problem. It's the problem because women need to be protected. They should be covered by men. When they're not, women tend to make bad decisions. It's been proven over and over again. They they tend to make bad decisions when they're left to themselves. I witnessed this firsthand. A lot of women ain't gonna ain't gonna be ain't gonna have nobody. A lot of women they're gonna be single. They never be married. But I think that us good men that that give a damn, that's worth a damn, I feel like uh I think uh that men like us, real men. They deserve more than one woman. The only way we can solve this problem is if every man had more than one woman. And if a man has the means to take care of multiple women, he should be able to exercise that. He should. Like I said, if we all marry one woman, it'll still be way too many women out here unmarried with children making decisions and and raising boys and uh the outcome isn't good because these women are making bad decisions they're raising their boys and they, the boys are feminine and they, they they're they're um in tune with their emotions and that's dangerous it's dangerous the only way we can end this is if we start <laughs> we got to marry all of them that's the only way we can fix this. The only way we can fix this is if every woman has a man. You're going to have to share. you got to because there's a lot of men out here that ain't even worth it. But y'all giving these men children. We all picking wrong, man. But when we finally get it right, we got to keep it right. And if that man can get multiple women, you need to, you know, deal with it. I'm sorry, but you need to deal with that shit. But for the man, I don't think we should just be out here just exercising our rights to have sex with women just because we can. Just because it's an opportunity. Just because, you know, I think that when we're dealing with multiple women... We should be dealing with them um, with marriage in, in mind. If I'm dealing with three women, I might have a child with one. I, ha I might have a certain relationship with this one. 
she might be my inspiration and everything, you know what I'm saying? Then I might have another one that I just like to turn up with. Fine girl, she she fine, you understand? But every woman got their role, you know? Every woman got their role. Um, every woman should be taken care of. And that's the reason that we got these problems. Because we got women that's not covered, raising children, making bad decisions. And we got men out here that, that, that they aren't men. They are here making babies. We can't have that. That's the problem. We got men out here that aren't men and they're making babies. It's not the way it's supposed to be. It's just not. But I honestly think that that's that's the that'll solve that'll solve the issue with this dating stuff, this relationship stuff, and every stuff, all of that. Cause think about it. If you have three women and you have children with all three of them, you basically got a family with all three of them. All your kids, they siblings. All three of your women are your wives. It's a strong family. It's a strong foundation, man. Everybody play their part and make it work. But we live in a society where that's looked down upon. It's like you were supposed to be one woman and you know, that's just that's just Western shit. You go anywhere else, it ain't like that. You go back in the, you go back a hundred years ago, it wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? A couple of centuries, it wasn't like that. But we got to get back right. We got to. I know a lot of people might not like this, but I just keep it real, for real. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do over here. I keep it real. Ain't nobody safe, man or woman, cat or dog. You ain't safe. We exposing it all. You understand? If you ain't right, we exposing it. But when we talk about this relationship stuff, we both, both sides, men and women, they got a role to play. You understand? We, 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 we both got, we both got our own roles to play. But at the end of the day, when you deal with the biology of a man and a woman, it, it just, it just seems like a man is supposed to have more than one woman. That's just how it's supposed to be. And I'm sorry that you know, some people might not like that, but that's just how it is, man. I didn't make mankind. I didn't make us the way we are. God made us the way we are. But we fighting it. <laughs> we want to fight it. We want to fight who we really are. We'll all be a lot more happier if we did better in our relationships. If we had better relationships with our parents. But in these days, it's like, we don't even know what a healthy relationship look like. We don't even, we don't know what it look like. We really don't. So we used to this, we used to, we used to saying we used to seeing the struggle, the trauma. We used to seeing toxic relationships and all of that. It's crazy because we went wrong a long time ago. And I, I'm not going to get into all of the details on where we went wrong. I think we all know where we went wrong. Because if you look back in the day, especially if you look in, at the black community back in the day, black people was the most married. Now we're the least married. And the shit is spreading like wildfire. And if you if you talk about what's going on in this country in America, you got foreigners coming in. They stay here a couple generations. Now they didn't got away from their beliefs and the way that they do things. We have white folks in this country. 
they did things that way they did things. But guess what? This this culture, this black culture, this hip hop culture, this boss bitch culture is taking over, it's spreading like wildfire across all cultures. Marriage race is dropping amongst all races when we talk about in the United States. So really, there's something wrong with, there's something wrong with the way we're doing things over here. And we need to, we need to get back to where we used to do things. Because at the end of the day, we got to say the family. That's what matters. At the end of the day, family is what matters. And we gotten away from it. We gotten away from it so much. I mean, we got children out here disrespecting their parents. We got kids out here killing their parents. We got away from what's important, relationships, family. It's all we got, man. It's all we got. And until we get back to it, we we don't. We, we really are, we are really don't because we got away from family structure. We got to get back to it. Only way we're gonna get back to it is if we have men stand up and be men again. Everything will fall in place. Trust me, everything will fall in place. But not only that, we also we need our women to be women again to understand the way that men are. And I think that women understand how men are. They just don't like it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just don't like it. Being adult, get over your feelings. That's what adults do. It's Mr. Righteous. That's what I'm getting. Stay righteous out there, y'all. Like and subscribe my shit, man. Love y'all, man.